Alright guys, it's Eddie here again. We're back in Dragon uh, Quest Builders 2. So this is back to the story that I started on PS4. So the recap, we um, we completed Furrowfield and we brought our friends back to the Island of uh, Awakening. Um, this is going to be a short video. So all this is is a tour of my uh, Green Gardens area and how to complete the, uh, the targets early on in the game. So... Let's get to it. I'll show you. I'll give you guys a tour first of our of our area. So you can see I did a little bit of work. Um, I made a bunch of these lanterns. So to light up the island. Actually, let's, let's do this. Let's go down the list. In the story, they make you make a river, a meadow, and forest. So those things are mandatory. You get those from the story. Optional. So building rooms. I um I have more than these rooms, so the first one you're required to build three different rooms, then you're required to build five, a restaurant, a petting zoo, building a room somewhere up high, um, make lots of meadow, lots of forest, lots of water, find more residents, light up the island, and build a farm. Um, so I got 16 of these items. Uh, make some very happy animals is still along the way so the animals are very hard to please I'll work on that uh, here in the near future building lots of fields so that's pretty simple I beat that one and growing lots of different crops so at this point of the game you don't have many crops to um, to complete the board so you're not able to get all 20 of these targets but I got 16 so 16 is where I'm at right now uh, right here it says 10 crops and then 15 crops and make all sorts of food right now I'm at 10 so with those targets in mind I'll walk around and show you guys what I did so we got lights all over the island to light up the island that's what that was for the green um, forest area was easy all you had to do was plop down the seas and Wiggly would make green forest so I found anywhere with uh, arid earth like this that I could and I, I put down as much as I could until that target was complete. I made water here and I put this field here because it needs to be in water so sugarcane is being grown down here. That's one of my fields to make uh, the fields bigger. You can see I made forest all through here. Uh, this was the one time that I needed meadow but the rest of it is forest. Over here I built a little living area for my uh, residents so you had the small simple kitchen next to the dining room so that's how I meet my uh, restaurant you need a simple kitchen next to a dining room dining room is easy so all you need really is four tables four chairs and four bowls that makes a dining room and light you get a light in there you have a dining room put it next to the simple kitchen you have a restaurant so that's what that's going on here and you can see the people love it uh, I made tiny toilets here for them so every now and then you, you collect materials for the woody goody. So that's how you make your wooded areas. You have to use the night soil. Over here is a social bedroom. So all that is is three or more beds with lights. That's that's what that's what dictates a social bedroom. Over here I have the, the, the three statues where um, they drop gratitude points. This room is to be de uh, determined. I'm not sure what I'm going to do to it yet. Oh, over here. So I have a tiny study room. So this helps me with the different types of rooms. It's not on the, the tablet yet, but in the future it's going to actually make a certain amount of different rooms. And I already jumped ahead and did that. So these are all rooms, by the way, that you can do at this point in the game. Uh, I'm still at the beginning, right past the furrow field part. Here I have a small library. You see the items you need for a library. You just need three bibliopedias. Is that three or five? Yeah, that's three. Uh, I put six bookcases. I think you only need five. But I put six because I, went, I needed somewhere to place these books. So you need three pieces of wooden uh, reading material, which is what these are. Oh, there it is. Another book. Get off there. So the second table is optional. The first table is re uh, required. And so is the chair. I put a second table down to put my book there. So that's how I got my library to register. Uh, for this, all you needed was three bibliopedias, three bookcases. That's a study room. 
and I'll expand the library more. I'll add more to it later. For now, that's good enough. Over here, I have a shared bedroom. All you need is two beds, two nameplates here, and two chairs, one light. That gives you a shared bedroom. Over here, it's a small room for now, but this will be my reception room in the future. So I need a stationary, which I cannot create yet at this point in the game because you need glass as a material. So for now, this is my uh, this is my reception room. I have to set up the groundwork for it to be a reception room. Um, you got the wall hanging. You need a candle and you need a table. All I need now is a stationary and this will become a reception and it's connected to this simple basic room. So once this becomes a reception room, these two will become a hotel. So that's how you get your hotel to register. Over here is a shared bathroom. So since we don't have showers right now, we have just these. All you need is two of these, two of these uh, wash tubs, two towels, and a light. And you have a shared bathroom. Over here is a small wood burning bathroom. So the people share this one as well. The difference is this one has four wash tubs, three towels, two firewood, and a chair, and two lights. So it's a different type of bathroom. So it registers as a different room. Over here is a small agricultural cafe. So this is different than the agricultural kitchen, which is you build on a um, furrow field. So the main difference between this one and that one is it has a table and a chair and a bowl. So that's that's your big difference. If you take away the table and the chair and the bowl, it, it turns into an agricultural kitchen. But if you keep those in there, it's an agricultural cafe, which that, that adds to your room count. Over here is a tiny bedroom. All you need is a bed, a chair, a light, and a, and a name plate. And I, I gave this room to Lillian because this is the size room she likes. That's the library. Here is the master bedroom. It says small master bedroom. This is still a pretty big room. This is a big room. Right now, this is Rosie's room. I'll do updates to it later. But all you need is a, a wall decoration, a bed, a light. A desk and a chair and a, and a nameplate for it to become a master bedroom. Across the way here, this is a tiny rustic toilet. So another toilet, but this one has a haystack. So it registers as a different type of room. I guess that adds, that adds flavor to the room. I don't know. But um, this one here is a classic from the first game. For anyone who's ever played Dragon Quest Builder 1, the pot chamber. All you need is five pots and a treasure chest and they make pots so the characters will make these these items for you this column is here for now um, I plan on making this entire hallway uh, this will become a hallway a special type of room but I think I need two different types of columns first right now I have two different wall decorations so I have the wall hanging here and I have the foliage that um that I earned you're supposed to have two columns and this will register as a hallway. So I will come back once I have two different types of columns. And here is my tiny graveyard. For a graveyard, all you need is three of these memorials. Three types of flowers. Well, not three types. But so three flowers and a bench is all you need for a graveyard. So, And here is a tiny cell. So all you need are chains and a pot. And you have a cell. Someone will stay locked up. <laughs> so that's my little living area. I decided to pack everything in this small space because I know this won't stay here forever. Um, at one point, at some point, I'll, I'll come back and edit this area and make it better. But for now, this is all these guys need to live. Ooh, there's a room I do not have on here. We can make it right now. I need a barn. Sure, I do not remember the blueprints for a barn, so let's look it up. Oh. So this is a list of rooms that you already have made before or seen before. I just need the recipe for a barn.
There we are. I need a chest, a pot, a haystack, a rope, one farming tools, one firewood. Okay. Chest, a pot, a rope, oh. a rope, farming tools, let's see if I got everything. I don't like making items if I already have it in my um, inventory. I think that's a waste of time. Let's give it a small door. Stack. I have a lot of uh, locked items because I haven't wasted a lot of my gratitude yet unlocking items. Only unlocking stuff I need at the moment. Right now I don't need any of these things. They're nice to have but I, I don't need them. Let's put it right here. Hey, I'll put the brick away. I've been using this brick. Um, it's up to you what you want to use. I don't have a lot of materials right now because I haven't been playing this that much. But I went with this material since there's a, a lot of it everywhere around here. You can always get more. Let's make more room. Alright, firewood. Rope. Haystack. Community chest. I missed the farming tools, see? I should have wrote it down. I'm okay with this room not being connected to the rest of the living area because it's not supposed to be part of the living area. This is just a room that the farmer is supposed to use when they're farming. Small barn. Let's put some lights on. Um, they've been increased in tax at night, so um, I've been having to light the place up. My chickens got attacked, which is never cool. So when the ghosts show up here, they just run away. Will you get out the way? Get now we're off. Alright, so there's a barn for the farmers so they can be happy. They have all their rooms. I forgot one room when I was looking at those recipes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and make it the back half of this. It's going to be a lot of wasted space, but whatever. I need the farmer's bedroom, so we need one far farming tool, one firewood, two beds, one light source. So we have the beds and light source covered. Let's get the firewood and the farming tools, and then we'll have all the rooms that we made back on uh, furrow field already here. Wow, 
Why do I keep doing that? Armor's bedroom. So plenty of bedrooms for this for this little bit of uh, population that I have, this small population. I went out and I recruited four more people. Uh, so now we should have 18. No, I recruited three more people. So now we should have 18. The chickens will keep multiplying and make it 20. But um, we're not at that point yet. It's not going to show up on the, uh, the tablet targets yet until... The next part of the story is over. So we accomplished everything we could here for the for the tablets. And I started some I set up the groundwork for um future tablet targets already. So sixteen out of twenty. I showed you everything, I showed you the different rooms, showed you the restaurant. Ooh, the petting zoo. So the petting zoo is still in the same place. We'll walk up there. And build a room somewhere up high. So those two rooms will check last. Uh, we made all the meadow. Showed you the forest. The meadow's up up on the top. Uh, I showed you where all the extra water went. We have 15 residents. Um, so you can just go out and explore shores and find more residents. It's real easy. Light up the island. Build a farm. Make some happy animals. That That is some... That is a work in progress. That's going to take a while. Build lots of fields. I'll show you the fields and grow lots of different crops. So that's where we are. You can see I lit the stairway here because I was running out of ideas of where to put lights. So I lit up the island. There's plenty of lights. You only need four of these to complete the, the bigger fields requirement. But you need five if you want to do the five different types of crops. So five would be a good number. I went out and explored shores and I got some strawberries. So that's what these are, strawberries. My lettuce is here. The wheat is here. I am not going to try to pronounce the name of this plant. But you can find it out and explore shores. Tomatoes. And pumpkins. And I showed you the sugar cane down below. It has to be in water. Um, let's go over here. This is my living area for the animals right now. This is registered. This is a small pen, but once I get some more plants, this will become a, a garden. So you need six flowers and six plants. Right now, I only have three plants, so I need three more. Over here is a small room. Uh, how come it's not registering anymore? What's going on here? A bench, a swing, two flowers, two plank pathways. A bench, a swing, two flowers, and two of these. But it's not registering as a as a playful park. Here's my animal house and the paddock. You get an extra metal later on for making an animal house, so it's good to, to have one in on your on your island so all you need are two beds a bowl and a haystack to make an animal house a paddock all I did was put down wheat grass seeds and I put a bed in here and a haystack and it turned into a paddock the small pen is registered over here but it shouldn't be let's go down this way I can't sprint anymore all right so we were running out of places to put water. So what I did was I filled up this area here. I filled this up and I made sure that the water felt, filled up the hole down here as well. So there's water all in here. 
So that helped me with the water side quest. Oh, over here. I use this area as well for the forest. So more forest than over here. You can use this area for this part of the game. It does it does count as part of the gardens area. It's when you cross over here when it doesn't count anymore. So that's your difference. You can still use this area to get your requirements in. And um, that's my green gardens. Uh, the only thing you haven't seen is my room up high, which I placed on the highest peak that you could find in game. Man, I don't have time for these ghosts, Malroth. Go take care of them. Up, 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 up. I should look where I'm going. Let's do this because I, I need to sprint and this guy is hungry. Alright, if you take this hill all the way up, you'll find the highest peak over here on this side of the island. I put it up here actually guys I'm a, I think I lost my highest room I lost it it's either here or it's back at the temple but anyways for you guys if you were looking for the highest peak and somewhere convenient you can build a room right here this is the highest peak in the entire island you can't get higher than this so you buy it if you build a room here it'll count as your room up high I think in this situation, I built my room on top of the temple. So that's where my high room is. Oh, this is a nice headshot. So you guys can see my area from up above. You can see six of my fields here, my animals living area. They're being attacked by that ghost down there. How are you here attacking? There's lights. He killed two of my chick all my chickens. Oh my god. They killed all of my chickens. All that's left is the little baby chicken. Killed all of my chickens. Oh well. I'll put this in here for the dogs because they makes them happy. I don't think you can get the happy animals thing right now. You have to wait until you come back to register animals happiness. Yep. Here's my living area from an aerial view. And that's that's my green gardens area, guys. Um I have everything you need right here. And it's a good living area. I guess I could move my animals in here to keep them safe, but actually that would be what I do. I'll move the animals in here, keep them safe, and just let that area up there stay what it is. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Say goodbye. I'll continue this story going into the next uh, story island in the future. Uh, look out for that. But for now, we're going to do some, um, some minor work here on the island. Thanks for watching, guys.